Hello everybody, my name is Foss, and today we're going to look at how to set up a multiplayer session with Pokelink. Pokelink, if you haven't seen it already, is a great service that allows you to customize your Pokemon overlay for your streams. It can be used with the, uh, the VBA RR, the Visual Boy Advance re-recording. It can be used with Desmume, it can be used with Citra, and probably more coming up here as well. But with that, let's take a look at how we can actually set this up from step one. I'm going to focus mostly on the Hamachi method, and that'll make more sense to you in a second if you don't know what that is already. But let's get over to the other screen here, and we'll take a look at that. So here, just my basic screen setup here, and I'm going to walk you through step by step. And at this point, you should already have Pokelink plus your emulator of choice downloaded. And this is to connect via Hamachi, like I mentioned earlier. Hamachi is an open source software that you can download. It allows you to also run a VPN if you want that, but focusing mostly today on how to use Hamachi to share an IP address. So with that, let's get in and actually download Hamachi and take a look at that. So choose your browser of choice. Me, I like to use Google Chrome, but use whatever you want to use and just type in log me in Hamachi. Or you can follow the link in the description below, of course. And it should bring you up to this page here. You can just click download. And it'll bring up this MSI file. Just go through the steps to download that, create yourself an account. It's totally free. You can have a paid service as well, which gives you more options to connect to more computers at a time. If you're just using this to play video games like me, then you really don't need to spend too much money on this. So once that's downloaded, just go through the steps to set it up. And eventually you will end up with something that looks like this. I will have my IP address blurred out here for obvious reasons, but just know that you will be able to see your IP address at the very top there, and then you should have this um, little power button here. So if I click that, since I already have a account set up here, it should bring me up to, to a page that says, join the network or create a new network, which it did right there. At this point, you're ready to get going. And if you haven't set up an account yet, it'll ask you to set that up. So for this computer, I'm gonna use this as my host computer. So this is the one that has better connection to the internet. It's just a better computer all around for me. Then I also have a little cheap laptop here that I'm gonna be using for my other screen so you can see what the other set, uh, what the other side of the setup is. Let me get rid of my camera here just so you can see the next part. And if I open up this here, this is my other laptop and it has everything up and running already. It has Pokelink there, um, like right above my cursor here. It also has the VBA and then the Hamachi down here, which is not started up yet. But with that, let's just take a look here at setting up a new network on my host computer. So again, let's be focusing on the host computer and I'll hide the guest computer. So we're gonna do create a new network, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it DocFuzzum because you know, check me on Twitch, all that good stuff. Use whatever password you want. Make sure it's something you won't forget easily. And there, I have a new network set up. So now if I go back over to my other computer here, we can actually join that network. So let's do that quick here. So bring that back up here. And now if I head on over here, again, there's nothing down here yet except for my IP address. But if I click this, it'll log on. It's gonna allow me to, to again, create a new session or join an existing one. So I'll give it a few seconds here and I'm gonna hit join here. So we're gonna join an existing network it's gonna ask you for that network ID and the password. This is what we just typed in on that other computer here. So again, DocFuzzum for me. And my password was a simple one, two, three, four. So here, we're gonna have this. You're gonna see them connect. I have the green dots on both screens here, which means it's connected. And we're gonna use this here in a second. But next thing we have to do is make sure that Pokelink is up and running. So Chef Pokelink, which is right here. I'm gonna have my Visual Boy Advance. This one's gonna focus mostly on Visual Boy Advance right now, but again, there's other options as well that work just as fine, or just as well anyways. Uh, let's just move my camera over here. You guys see my beautiful face, right? Anyways, so let's set up that new session here using the host computer again. So let's just hide this one more time. So again, this is the host, and we're gonna add a new session. Let's name it whatever we want. Let's just do multiplayer. We're gonna do a multiplayer run. We're going to 
host. Again, this is my host computer. I'm gonna continue with the session setup. I want this to be automatic party management. If you have your ROM, you can just drag it in here. I'm just gonna choose Fire Red, confirm it. It should detect my emulator because my emulator is already open. If it doesn't detect your emulator, restart Pokelink, restart your emulator, try it again. If it's still not connecting, make sure you have the most up-to-date version of Visual Boy Advance um, downloaded. With that, we're gonna have to add this Lua script in there. So if you have this downloaded correctly, you can hit this clipboard here. It'll copy that to the clipboard. We come on up here, do Lua scripting, new window, and then we're gonna paste that in there, hit run. So with that, it's gonna tell you not to close this Lua script window, but you should see it's connecting with the game data down here. But I can minimize this, just get that out of the way. I'll hit next. I'm not gonna change anything here. And there, I have been added to this session here. So there's me. Let's add this other computer to the session here instead. Well, as well, I guess. So now that we're back over here, what we need to do is add a new session. This is the second computer, so the second player. They can be in the same household as you. They can be in a completely different location. Either way, this should work. Name it whatever you want. So again, I'm just going to name it multiplayer. This is very hard because my computer's kind of jacked up here, but we do another multiplayer session. Choose connect to another person because again, this is the second computer. The first one was hosting. This one's now connecting to that host. We're going to do automatic party management again. I'm just going to choose fire red yet again. Confirm. And again, it's going to detect my Visual Boy Advance. I'm going to copy this over here. Paste, run. And now it should be connecting. Boom, connected, next. Now here. So now here is where we need to add in the IP address. So we're going to focus mostly on the IP4 address, which we pull from Hamachi. Since we are connected here, all we need to do is go down over the server that we're using. We're going to right click on that and let's click down here, right click on that. If my computer wants to cooperate, we're going to copy this IP4 address and now we're going to paste this IP4 address right over here. And now we're not going to change anything else. We're just going to add the IP4 address, hit connect. So now I can see on my host computer here, it's showing that FOSS has connected. So we have DocFuzzum and FOSS. And you can see here, if I go over back over here, I can see the different teams between the two different players that are playing. So it's that easy to connect it. So now if I go over here again, this is my guest watching on my host computer. So from there, let's just click on here. Let's change up the party here. You'll see the party change on my screen as we go along. So let's just switch here with Charizard. And there you see it switch on the host computer. So this is completely separate from the host computer. This can be done from around the world if you wanted to, but it's that easy to switch up the teams. And with this, you can use your browser sources just like any other setup where you now have two browser sources. So let's just maximize this and get this other display off of here. And we'll get rid of my face as well. So now you see here, we have two different sources. We have your source, so that is the computer that you're on. And then we have the other source. So I have Foss's source, which is the guest. So I can use both these sources in my stream setup to actually provide me with a team here. So let's just do this really quick here. I'm not gonna show you too much here. I'm just gonna do something really quick, really easy. And let's just go with here. So very basic setup here. I'm gonna add this to my stream. Okay, so here's my Streamlabs set up here. And now we can add these parties in to my Streamlabs here so that we can see both parties at the same time just for the simple multiplayer run. There's many different things you can do with this. You can personalize it, make this into a soul link challenge so your Pokemon are linked together and they die together. I'll maybe go over that in a different video instead. But with this video, we're gonna focus just on getting this set up in the first place. So to add this, all we need to do is hit this plus button here and we're gonna add a browser source. Let's just name this Pokelink. Uh, let's just go player one. Okay, add that. And what we're going to do, player one is going to be me. So I'm going to use my source here. 
So if I just click on this over here, it's gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste this in here. And I'm going to adjust the width so that way they're just in a big line. A little bit bigger here. There's that, and then 300 should be enough height. I don't want the shutdown when not available. And they can do some custom CC or CSS down here if you want to change some things up as you go along. But there's my party, the host. Let's add the guest in there as well. So hit the plus button again, add another browser, make a new source. We're going to do this one as Pokelink Player 2. And again, we're going to click down here to copy Foss's source. Replace that here. Change this again. Okay, make sure it doesn't shut down when not available. But now you can see I have the two different teams. My team on top, the guest on the bottom. So now if I change up my team over here, I'm just going to minimize this. So let's just hit enter. Let's switch up my team. So here's switching up my team right there. This is on the host computer. A little bit of a delay, but not too bad at all. Pretty clean transition there. It looks pretty nice. But now let's take a look at the guest computer. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit here. Bring back the guest again. So again, here's the guest computer. And now if I just do a simple switch here, I got my buttons mixed up here, but switch with this. And now again, on the host computer on the right side here, you still see the switch. It's that easy to set this up, guys. What was that, 10 minutes maybe? And we have everything set up in a stream. It looks fantastic. Add in the actual gameplay video. You can have like one video on the bottom left, one video on the top right. You have both of your cameras set up, all that good stuff. It's pretty dang simple to set up. But have fun with it. Customize it. If you need some help, check out the Discord. The link is in the description below. Jez and the rest of the Pokelink team will help you out. And they have a fantastic system and updates are dropping all the time. So if nothing else, guys, leave a thumbs up. Let me know how I did in the comments below. Check out some other videos as well if you want to see how to set up Pokelink using your VBA or Desmume or Citra emulators, all that good stuff. And I'll also go over how to set up your different stream styles and how to customize some layouts in the future as well. But until next time, guys, have a good night and I'll catch you in the next one.